Hello everyone, so I have a short video here looking at the destruction of a BM30 Smirch in Zaporizhia. Now, this was reported a few days ago, but at the time we only had a photo of the wreck. Now, we have a video that's been released, and I think it's worth a look. So you can see the Smirch is out in the open, looking like it's preparing for launch when it's targeted by Ukraine. Now, this isn't a direct hit, the shot lands next to it, but it's big enough to set the Smirch on fire and destroy it. I will now go through a few screenshots. So here you can see the smirch in a field with another vehicle nearby. I can't tell if the second one is a large supply truck or another smirch launcher. The smirch that was hit had its launcher partially up, likely making preparations for firing. However, we don't see the launcher rise any higher during the video, and I wonder if the crew abandoned it after an initial strike that missed. You can see a couple of craters nearby. They could be old of course, but it is quite interesting that the smirch is stuck in a semi-erect position like that. Maybe it just forgot to take one of its blue pills. The strike isn't a clean hit, landing near the launcher but not directly on it, but it does immediately set the launcher on fire. You can see that better here, with the crater visible near the smoking smirch. Now I think the original geolocation for this, when we just had the photo from a few days ago, was done by EJ Shahid on Twitter. The smirch was where the marker is. Zoomed out? This is the road east of a town called Bilmak. Not a familiar place for me, so let's turn to Deep States and see where exactly it is. So, this is about 35 kilometers from the nearest front line. The smirch was aiming, or preparing to aim north, to hit targets around the Velika Novo Silka area. Deep States only has the 70 kilometer 9M55K round on its artillery rangefinder tool, but it shows us that this launcher is more than capable of covering a wide area along the front lines and in the region of Ukraine's counter-offensive. The Smirch can fire a wide range of projectiles with max ranges of 70 kilometers to as much as 130 kilometers. The 9M542 drone delivery rocket, which you can see, seems quite interesting, I must say. Here's a photo of the Smirch. It's a 300mm MLRS system, able to fire 12 rockets. It entered service in the late 1980s. They are quite rare. This is the only second one on Oryx so far. I think this is likely due to the fact these are long-range systems and tend to operate further back where they're safe. Given the long range of its rockets, I would expect these to be even further back, maybe... 40 to 50 kilometers or so to limit the risk of them being spotted and taken out. Maybe this one was moved forward to hit targets not on the front line itself, but a possible ammo depot or command post of Ukraine's further back behind the lines, so it had to be brought further forward in order to reach it. Or it could be that the shorter range 70 kilometer rocket was the only one available for this launch to be loaded with, which is why we're now seeing it been operated from a closer range to the front lines. Russia had 120 of these in service last year, with the vehicle still under production, so this isn't one which we're going to see a shortage of any real time soon. We do still have a lot of these available. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it.